Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and this is right after the first recording. So, you get to see three episodes today. Woohoo! <coughs> you excuse me for my cough, guys. My Crohn's disease is giving me some sinus strain. <clears throat> I'm kind of getting a little build up. If it gets too bad, I'll probably get have to go to the hospital and get some uh, medicine for bronchitis. <clears throat> but uh, for right now, I'm good. So these are our stuff. I like this in a certain order here. Uh, like that. That's how I like to do it. Uh, so. We are going to come over here. And we're going to get this. Oh, that's still a little loud, isn't it? Let's, uh. Okay. Uh, yes. We'll check that. Uh-huh. Cool. All right. You let me open my thing now. Uh, let's turn that down just a little bit more. There we go. That's better. All right. So I'm not going to worry about the actual weather for spring. Uh, the only time I'm going to check the weather is if we need to know, like, when I'm upgrading my watering can. Um, I better go ahead and check it because it's like I'm going to go up to copper really really soon like really really fast good humor alright and uh, living off the land this one is for all of you greenhorns out there chop wood and search for foraging items for cash so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get us a chest which means I need 50 wood and your first mistake right here is going to be do not use this for farming, right? To start out with. It is good when you get a, like a well or something up here. Um, do your farming down here and uh, try to keep it over from here over. Because you get too close to there and you'll... Uh, um, It'll fall into the water, which we don't want. So, I'm going to clear out all these weeds first, because uh, we're going to plant some stuff here. Now, there's two options here. If we want to make a crap ton of money, the best way to do that one is to grow kale. Now, you guys aren't going to believe me on this. That's 100% true. The number one crop in spring is actually... Uh, um, Strawberries, kale, cabbage. I believe in that order. And uh, I don't want to do a big... I don't want to wait that long, right? So, but the problem is... Cabbage takes away crap ton long. Kale, when you harvest it, doesn't give you any XP. So... There is, uh, that's a that's a downside for us. Now, these stumps are going to be in our way, but it's not going to be that bad for us because we're not growing cabbage, so we don't we're not looking to get the big uh, harvest here. So, and all all we're actually trying to do here is clear out a big enough spot for us to actually uh, grow some crops. And there's nothing we can do about those stumps right there. Uh, that's 50. That should be enough room there. Yeah. I'm going to clear out this stuff here. We get some wild seeds. And. Oh, I forgot. This is where I like to put my stuff. So. I'm going to just clear off just enough space right here so we can put us some chest right here. So. There's a chest. 
just going to pop it down right here. And um, I'm going to put all this stuff in here for right now. I don't need you or you. And I'm going to need these three because I'm going to clear a path down. And I don't know what all two tools I'm going to need to do there. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to... Oh, this is perfect right here. And then that right there. Uh, let's knock these guys out of here. There we go. Perfect. All right. No. Wasting time. All right. Now we're going to toss all this stuff in here. And we're going to go... Forging. And we're going to try to do as much forging as we can before four. Because we want to get to Pierre's and we want to buy um, some kale. Now, we are going to have to grow some potatoes just to get some farming XP. But I want a large, I want, I want to get a jump start on uh, money. So, right now I'm only interested in the money part, not the XP part. And we will be growing it. It's not going to be that bad for us. We are going to be growing some uh, uh, parsnips. Anyway. Now, we're not going to actually sell any of this right here. Uh, shoot, I forgot to leave a tool on me. That's going to be annoying. I might have to go get me a tool just so I don't have to deal with that. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to. Now, checking the beach actually isn't going to help us out because we can't sell that right now. So, so I think we're going to go north here. And uh, we're going to introduce ourselves to people, but not the first two days. Mm. Oop, there's another one there. Also, we're going to need his Danny line because there is somebody we are going to introduce ourselves to, and we're going to need these. So. She's usually up here by now, right? There's more. I can sell this one. You only need two of these every week, so every, all the rest of them you can sell. I would save the gold ones, though. Just sell the rest of them. There we go. So I want to sell you, all of you, and all you. And then we're going to buy cow. And go ahead and get another parsnip seed. There we go. Uh, where is our girl? Is she in here? No. Did she go take pictures? That's going to be awkward. Um. Yep, she did. But she's done taking pictures, so we can actually talk. Thank you. Yeah. So you only need to talk to her once.
I'm going to grab some more of this stuff because we're going to put it in a bin. But we need to go ahead and get our stuff planted. So let's go up here. We're going to eat all of these. Uh... Stuff here. And we're going to go try to get all the rest of our foraging items out of the way. And we're going to keep our axe on us. Or a hoe. Maybe it may be better to do the hoe. Because then we can get worms if we need to. I don't know why I keep moving that out. If you right click, this is the number one tip in this game, make sure you continue to use your right click instead of left click to, to select stuff. The reason why that is, is you won't use your tool when you right click, but you can still pick stuff up and select stuff with that. So let's get you out and you out. And oh, you. Okay. So, actually, I need to do you here. Yep. <laughs> it should be fine. This should give us enough room for all of our crops. Here we go. Should be more than enough room. And we will continue to plant. There we go. And we did have a wild seed somewhere. We'll probably put it down here in the chest. We're going to go ahead and plant this. There we go. And we got a full watering can, so we might as well just water. Because we don't have 40 crops anyway, so. There we go. And I think what we're going to do is push to uh, upgrade this as soon as possible. To at least iron level. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna fill this up in the morning. So put everything in there. And we get a pick out. We got some energy left. And we got some daylight left. Now, can we make our way to our mines without? Getting stuck, I think so. We're going to need our, you know what, there we go, <laughs> so I want to get the copper today. If we don't get nothing else today, we need to get the copper. We do need to go get our hoe and uh, hoe these uh, worms up too. Right. We can actually do that tomorrow though, because we're running out of energy. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have to clear that out tomorrow. So we have more energy tomorrow. Alright. Let's see if we can find us any more forging items. It's you. <laughs> I 
Kind of cheated our way through it. Aha, uh -huh, there's a leak. Nope. Nothing up here. Linus has already went to bed. More stuff. See, if you do this early enough, instead of, uh, if you just get 50 wood and go ahead and make the chest and put it, pop it down and go ahead and gather uh, all the forging items, you can actually sell them and buy more seeds the first day. It's not really going to matter for our strategy, but if, like, if, you, if you're going with green beans, it's another good XP one to do. You get, you get one more XP than you do turnips, like parsnips. And today's a good luck day, so we're doing the trash cans. Uh, we are going to save that trash. How are we doing? It's almost 12. Uh, yeah, I know. It's getting late. Nothing else. Mm. We're probably going to unlock that beach over there tomorrow if we can, or the or the next episode. Mm. I know we're cutting it close. Ooh, look at that. That's a regular. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. All right. Let's head home. I might heard this on energy tomorrow. But I think it was worth it to get the items here. And you can go in there. All of you guys can sell. And bedtime. It feels so good not having to worry about, like, I can only sell certain items. So there's a forging level. Now we're going to hardcore cut trees. Because uh, field snacks will give us much more energy than anything else we can do right now. We can also grow some flowers if we need to, if we're worried about energy and food to eat. Rain all day tomorrow. Today was be a perfect day to uh, upgrade. Another good humor day. This is why I wanted to go ahead and get the copper yesterday. Oh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of your ore, you find you'll need a furnace. It just so happens I have an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Learn how to craft a furnace. This allows you to smelt uh, metal bars. The bars can be used to craft tools, construction, tool upgrades. When you submitted a few bars, consider having me upgrade your tools. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Thank you. Now, if you don't do that, you can't get the furnace. If you don't start on this map and get that copper, you can't get the furnace until like day five or six. Uh, yes. Okay. We'll come check you out. So, let's put all you guys up. Uh, we're going to get our watering can out. And we are going to have to fill this up. Because I don't think we can water all these. Yeah, that's going to be a bad idea. 
There we go. Now the turnips or parsnips are going to give us enough to make a scarecrow, which we're going to probably put uh, right here somewhere, maybe beside this uh, tree chunk, uh, tree stump. Put you up. I want you and you. And should we go foraging first? Yeah. Let let's clear off. I'll tell you what. Let's go down there and get our food, and then we'll come back up and clear that, and then we'll go foraging. there's any here. Yep, there we go. Now, no matter what tool you're in, you can select stuff off the ground and you can not use your tool. I mean, any right click does not use your tool. The only exception to that is weapons that have a right click ability, but none of your tools for your farm have right click abilities. So, no matter how many times you press right click, you'll never use your tool for energy. So, that's a little tip. Some people say always have your, uh, I'll get that later. Always have your sickle on you equipped. You don't really need to. Uh, break you. Break you. Break you. We're going to clear this thing out here. I'm going to go ahead and get all the stone first, and then we're going to get the worms next. Now, don't forget, uh, digging up worms actually gives you mining XP. So, very good thing to do if you're trying to raise your mining level. Uh, and I, I probably will farm copper at the beginning. Um, and... Um, We'll probably do the crab pots for iron once we get enough uh, crab pots out and trash going. It is another good humor day, so tonight before we go to bed, we're probably going to uh, hit the trash cans again. Uh, clay, stone, clay. Play. Chicken. It's actually pretty good because we need 10 of those so we can get our first uh, building built. And put this up. Now, the large majority of our time will be spent on the farm uh, clearing this first. But you do want to make all the extra money we possibly can. So. Put you up. Uh, we're gonna keep. Actually, we're gonna put all you up because I don't need you right now. And we're gonna keep you on me so I have something just equipped. And I think we're gonna head out north. <laughs> there we go. I still need four more copper to uh, build my furnace. So. And look at that. There we go. Come on. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. Linus, we are going to say hello to people today. We only need to talk to them once to introduce yourself and actually want only wants to get the actual benefit 
from being friendly to somebody every day. So anything more than that is wasted. Come on, I need more foraging items. And we're going to talk to her, but... I'm hoping to show you guys the uh, dance festival first year. Nothing along the fence there. Nothing there. All right. More copper. Mm, not bad. Go down to the beach. Ooh. Nope, regular. Um, some of the hard ones to get. Oh, this is we got to get the fishing. We might do some fishing tonight when we get done with everything else. Ahoy, Missy. I'm gonna skip this because I don't really care about that part. But uh, we are gonna do our first fishing. It's basically a free fish. Come on. So no matter what you do, this first fish here will always, uh, will, you'll never be able to lose it, if that makes sense to you. Nothing that way, nothing that way, okay. And one last stop before we start clearing. did down so I'm just gonna do a big loop bottom and then come back around the top there and then we'll start clearing our farm and I all of a sudden have to use the bathroom I'm gonna have to hurry up is there anything down here no that was a complete waste Come on. Where's my forging items? Oh, there it is one. So every map area has a certain number that will spawn there. <coughs> Excuse me. The forging items. I think it's two to six, if I'm not mistaken. And then the maximum of six total on each of map areas. So see how me switching up here loaded in this area up here? So this, this is a different map area than that one down there. This one. If I go down and then go into town, the, the town is a different map area. So that's what we're talking about there. So let's go throw this stuff in the bin. Now it's kind of a controversy what items to uh, 
get first, but we are probably going to go for the backpack. stuff there. I'm actually going for these first. I'm hoping we get lots of uh, wild seeds. We'll see. that grass. Weeds, whatever. And uh, we need to go check out this note over here at Grandpa's uh, shrine here. Actually need to go get my food. This is the grandpa's note. Wait for my return at the dawn of the third year. We technically only have two years. to uh, get some wood cut. I'll probably only get a couple of trees though. If I alternate them though, I can uh, get the stuff for field snacks. So Let's eat first. We can just hope each one of these drops a seed. Nope. What about you? Yes, it did. What about you, pine tree? You gonna drop some pine cones? Yep. I need this one. I believe I need this one anyway. I should be able to get two more trees. Acorns, um, I'm going to drop you. I'm going to craft you. There we go. I'm going to go up here and clear off all these sticks from up here. So this is going to be my main preparation area.
Time for bed. And get rid of these stones real quick. Alright. That should be good for now. Put all you up. Put you out and you out. There we go. Alright guys. If you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out and see if you like it. If you do like this episode and want to share it with your friends, tell me how much you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, or your social media. Don't forget, if you set your notifications, so I can send you notifications. And if you have tips, tricks, or comments, put them down in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.